everyone's life, there's one thing, one moment where everything changes. When something just clicks and everything just feels right. Like every decision you made up to this point, every struggle, every misstep was necessary to put you where you are right now. Two years ago, I had that moment. And it was behind the wheel of a 1970 Buick Skylark. 3,500 pounds of tire burning, gasoline snorting, and engine ripping American muscle. And on the surface, it may seem to many that it's just because it's a nice car. But like every hobby, it's more than that. I was 17 when I first laid eyes on it. One day, towards the end of 2017, my parents came to pick me up from martial arts in this big blue American machine they borrowed from a friend. I got behind the wheel and revved the motor once, twice, three times, and at that moment, that moment right there, I was hooked. I was gonna make this car mine someday, and that day was coming soon. I began picking up extra shifts at work, began working harder than I ever had before with a drive I had never experienced. I had one goal, one dream that was within reach. I was going to own that vehicle. Almost six months later, I finally scrounged up enough cash to pay for it. On the day I decided to pull the trigger, my dad's warning echoed in my ear. He said, this is no ordinary car. It's old and it's gonna need some work. You're gonna need to take special care of it. Are you up to the task? Without a second thought, I handed over the cash and the owner handed over the keys. Immediately, I threw myself into working on it. With my father and grandfather's help, I fixed the dents, I scraped the rust, and finally, I designed my dream paint job. Give me in a gray body that shimmered in the morning sun and stripes that gave it an aggressive demeanor that would give any show car a run for its money. It was at this point where I decided that I wanted to document everything I did with my car. My father had given me advice that whenever I needed to work on it, it helped to take pictures of my progress in case I made a mistake. Eventually, when filming one day, I was playing it back to myself and I found myself laughing at the snide jokes I'd tell. And at that moment, I decided that if I found myself funny, maybe other people would too. From that point on, I decided to make a YouTube channel called Spoilers, where I would talk about cars and most importantly, document the story of me and my Skylark. The videos didn't take off immediately as I had zero experience editing and recording. But regardless of the quality, I pushed myself to make at least one video a week. And as my viewership grew, so did my abilities. That marked the moment in my life where I truly knew what I wanted to do. I wanted to create videos for me, for businesses, for everybody. Within a year, I'd gone from barely knowing how to change a tire to preparing to build my first motor. And this was just super important to me because at that point I didn't feel special. I was a kid that was just very mediocre. I played video games, but I was just okay. I did karate, but I was never the best in the room. All of a sudden, without even really trying, I was the expert. If you had car trouble, you came to me. If you needed an oil change, I was the first person you contacted. For the first time in my life, I wasn't just wanted, I was needed. You can't buy that from a store. I owe everything that I have today to this vehicle. I have a YouTube channel with almost 3,000 subscribers, a passion and skill for working in the film and commercial industry, and above all, the confidence one gains from building a machine with their bare hands. And the best part is it's not natural talent that got me here. I have a bag in my room filled with all the snapped bolts, the scratch paint, and broken glass it took to get me to this point. I worked hard and I will continue to work hard because this car, this 50 year old hunk of metal, it's my drive. <laughs>